take this. How's the, uh, how's the sales on my record? Hey, what's up, guys? Spartan here, and today we got uh, Shadow Dropped, or Stealth Dropped, a a patch. <laughs> like, like I don't know, I don't know what else to, to really say. This patch came, basically came out of nowhere. Um, we got free content with it, and a couple of quality of life changes as well. Um, one of the changes. Uh, was or like that was you know came with the patch was that we got a new stage this stage is called small battlefield has been added so and you can now set this small battlefield as a preferred stage to the preferred rules for online battles so, so now you can have this as a stage that you constantly play on in preferred rules and we'll get to preferred rules later on because there's actually some changes to preferred rules. Um, another thing as well with this stage, uh, and also Battlefield, Big Battlefield, and Final Destination. Apparently now, you can play any stage-specific music for Battlefield, Small Battlefield, Big Battlefield, and Final Destination stages. So, when it, I'm guessing from what that reads is that like whenever you go on any type of Omega or Battlefield type of stages you can basically choose whatever song that you want and you can play it so if you want to do Castlevania if you want to do Xenoblade if you want to do Undertale if you want to do um, you know just basically any type of music whatsoever you can now do that this is a good change like again like this is just quality of life changes that I think people were asking for and I was like yeah like I don't know why we can't play you know, like we should we should be able to play the stage and have you know like the music playing there as well that that belongs with that stage but we should just play like whatever song that we want to um they kind of made us halfway and now we can do that for battlefield small battlefield big battlefield and ft stages so i kind of found that's a good change another change that happened was to online there were, there were a few changes to online. Um, I haven't tested it out for myself yet to, to let you guys know how it feels. Um, I've been told that it has better netcode. Um, the input delay is a frame or two less now online, which is fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, that's actually a really good change. Um, because, again, online is, is a is a dumpster fire it is so bad right now um but let's kind of go over the changes real quick there's some things that i kind of wish that were explained just a little bit more in these patch notes uh for example the first point for the online changes were the online user experience has been adjusted i kind of wish that they would have gone into um detail about this because we kind of need those kind of details. I kind of wish the detail was, hey, netcode is better, or um, input delay has has been fixed. Um, and I kind of wish that that was the change that we got, or like, like, you know, more details would be nice than just saying the online ex user experience has been adjusted. Um, another point, the way matchmaking is determined when using preferred rules has been adjusted. So I'm guessing that they're making preferred rules more consistent because there are times where like I would like I I have mine set to three stock and on Battlefield or or, or FD. I'm not I'm by the way, we'll we'll still get to preferred rules here in a minute. Um You can now switch to this stage now on preferred rules so you can now switch to small battlefield now on preferred rules and just play small battlefield i wonder how consistent that is now that's just me um we'll see how consistent that is uh because there are times where before i would have mine set to three stock battlefield or fd and then i would match someone with either five stocks or four stocks and be on a completely different stage um that's not legal or not battlefield or or FD, or I would get into a match with a person that's two stocking, um, you know, like has 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 a set of two stocks, 
would mind set the three stocks and that's my preferred rules is three stocks uh just just stuff like that in general um they I, i'm guessing that they made that more consistent and if they did that and if they did make that more consistent thank you um we'll have to you know try it out and see how it is um follow, and this is and they actually changed a little bit to the global smash power following a look at the current number of players eligible for elite smash the threshold for entry has been recalculated to allow more players so i'm guessing that they've lowered the bar for elite smash um addition additionally the way initial values for global smash are calculated has also been adjusted so i'm guessing that they raise the global smash um i personally think a ranking system in smash i hate to say this but i'm not a big fan of it just simply because of the way that they did it i kind of wish that it was an actual ranking system instead of it just being just a number right um that's just me i that i just i just kind of wish that it was a little bit more detailed like a little bit more in depth uh than that i also kind of wish there was an incentive to go into rank um or 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 to go into elite smash and get elite smash on all the characters for example right like maybe there's like a character skin that's tied to elite smash right i kind of wish that i kind of wish that that was a thing um it, it would be kind of cool if they did something like that listen they gave us this as free content small battlefield i could definitely see them doing something like this in the future where they just give us free content and a bunch of bug fixes and just quality of life fixes as well um we'll have to see i, I kind of wish there was more incentive to go elite smash instead of it just being i'm i'm good i kind of wish it was i'm good and also i got this badass skin along with it that's just my personal opinion um and they also said to further investigations and adjustments to online are expected we got this message almost a year and a half ago or a year ago or more than a year ago whenever joker came out i believe there was a little side note in the patch notes that, that said that there was going to be more online changes well it's been over a year and now we got those changes kind of wish nintendo would you know speed up the process with this kind of stuff because again they're a AAA company and they need to have better online um for their consumers like, i'm paying 20 bucks now granted i'm paying 20 bucks for online i expect it to at least be serviceable i don't expect it to be like the best online that i've ever had in my entire life for 20 bucks right some people expect that i think that's too high of an expectation especially if you're just paying 20 bucks um you know you know for 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 nintendo online um but it should be serviceable especially in this game it should be serviceable we're talking about an online fighting game that a lot of people take seriously and competitively and the online just sucks it's terrible right so um i kind of wish that in these patch notes there was more detail just give us more detail on what you mean by the user experience online has been adjusted give us more details about that give us more information about that is the net code better is the input delay better uh did you do anything and but and by the way there was no character adjustments within this patch no character adjustments within this patch at all it was mainly just online stage uh or like you know like the small battlefield stage and you can play any stage specific music on on basically like the 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 smash specific stages so like you know battlefield and small battlefield and so on um another thing as well that they said that uh it says general several issues has have been fixed to improve gameplay experience again what were those issues what give us give us give us more you know um i you know i i again i kind of wish that there was more that they gave us on what they meant by um you know like like you know fix to improve gameplay experience i kind of wish that they would go more into that but of course you know like this nintendo nintendo kind of works in vague terms a little bit so um again let me know what you guys think about this new patch um i'm actually i'm i'm more happy than 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 upset about this for the most part 
Um, I'm glad that they've made some adjustments to online, even though they don't go into detail about how or what they changed to online. Again, I kind of wish that they would go into how and why. Uh, you know, they, 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 you know, like the changes to online. Um, because I don't play Elite Smash. I don't. Um, I mainly just go to Arena. I go on to character specific discords. And I just say, hey, does anyone want to play a Belmont main? And usually I get a crap ton of people want to play me because no one plays Belmonts anymore. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I mean, I mean, like, I, I, I mainly just do Arena because Arena is way better than Elite Smash. Arena feels different than Elite Smash. It's, it's like a night and day difference. So, again, these are good changes. I'm not saying that any of these are bad changes. I kind of wish that there was just more, like, more information would be nice. More information in general would be nice just to see what did they change to online. That's all I want to know. They gave us pretty good information on the stage and the quality of life changes that they made to stages and they gave us a, a pretty good detailed you know e explanation on the global smash power and like elite smash threshold and stuff like that right i get like i'm i'm glad they went into those details and the preferred rules as well right the preferred rules i'm, I'm guessing is just basically saying that it's more consistent right like i'm i'm pretty sure that someone could put two to two together Whenever reading that stuff, you know, like, you know, like the way for matchmaking is determined for using preferred rules has been adjusted. Um, but I kind of wish that the online user experience has been adjusted. And like, I kind of wish that they gave us more, like, just give us like a little bit more so that we understand, you know, what's, what's, what's going on here. You know, like what, what, what did you change to online specifically so that we can test out to see if whether or not has any impact whatsoever but from what i've heard netcode has been fixed or netcode has been improved upon um and supposedly there's one to two frames less input delay when online now that's not really a big significant change in my opinion um online will still have a tremendous amount of input delay compared to offline and you will still see a tremendous difference between input delay online than compared to offline. Uh, but again, we'll we'll have to test things out to 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 confirm that yes, input delay was changed. Because again, the all, everybody has been saying that it, it 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 is like a feel, like online feels differently. That's great and all, but let's try to again. And like I understand that that the patch just came out, but. Let's try to look into it like a little bit more to try to see what had, you know, like what has changed. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for over 100 subscribers. I'm at 103 subscribers right now. Thank you guys so much for subbing. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, I do stream on Twitch uh, Monday through Thursday primarily. Sometimes I stream over the weekends a little bit. Um, my Twitch will be down in the description below. If you don't mind, click that link and leave a follow. It greatly helps me out. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. I'll have to try this stage up. But this stage is actually pretty fun. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know.